today we mark the 216 days since WHO declared COVID-19 as a public health emergency of international concern. From the time the COVID-19 outbreak was first detected in Sri Lanka, the political commitment played a major role in containing the epidemic in the country to this level and preventing the community transmission. The National Task Force was established under the leadership of His Excellency the President Gota Rajapaksha. Bring in the Health Ministry, Tri Forces, Police, Intelligence and other related disciplines together. Their primary task was identified as advising the government on the steps to control the epidemic. Under the directions of, His, of the Excellency, the President, I appointed a National Action Committee comprising of the key officials in the health and other sectors to prevent the spread of deadly coronavirus in Sri Lanka by the implementation of health measures and taking no risk to the spread of the virus. The tireless efforts taken by the Sri Lankan authorities of the relevant sectors were complemented by the support received from the different development partners, including the USA, based on the strategic preparedness and response plan for the COVID-19 in Sri Lanka. Portable ventilators are essential in treating patients with pneumonia conditions, which is a known complication of the COVID-19 infection. These ventilators will be distributed among the secondary and tertiary care level hospitals in the country and would serve to save the lives of many people during the time of COVID-19 and afterwards. This donation will supplement our efforts to improve medical care and will strengthen our readiness to face any increased burden of severe cases. I wish to extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation to the United States Agency for International Development for providing the support during this point of time by donating 200 portable ventilators to Sri Lanka. Madam, we appreciate your support once again. Thank you so much. The city of the American people and the innovation of American private industry is proud to donate 200 brand new high quality ventilators to Sri Lanka to fight COVID-19 and to help with future need. The United States remains the largest single country donor to the response efforts globally, building on decades of leadership in life-saving health and humanitarian assistance. These ventilators will enable Sri Lanka's health providers to deliver quality care that could save lives. This donation also demonstrates the ongoing commitment of the United States to support the government and the people of Sri Lanka through this crisis. For more than 60 years, the U.S. government has supported Sri Lanka, investing more than $2 billion in sectors such as agriculture, environment, and natural resources, in addition to health, education, business development and trade, and good governance. In times of disasters like the 2004 tsunami, landslides and floods in the conflict, USAID has played a lead role in providing humanitarian assistance. In Sri Lanka, more than $6 million of our COVID-19 assistance has helped to very broadly strengthen clinical care while minimizing the risk of onward transmission to others, prepare laboratory systems for large-scale testing of COVID-19, provide the public with reliable, verifiable information to protect themselves, enhance case finding and evidence-based surveillance for COVID-19, support to locally produce PPE, protective equipment, train and equip rapid response teams to investigate cases and conduct contact tracing. Through the American people's generosity and the U.S. government's action, we have donated more than $20.5 billion in emergency health, humanitarian, economic, and development assistance to help governments, international organizations, and NGOs fight the COVID-19 pandemic. This funding will save lives by improving public health education, reinforcing healthcare facilities, and increasing laboratory 
disease surveillance, and rapid response capacity in more than 120 countries. We're working directly with governments, international organizations, NGOs, the private sector, and other entities responding on the ground to combat this dangerous virus. This includes working with frontline workers to slow the spread, care for the affected, and equip local communities with the tools needed to fight COVID-19. Our All of America response is important because diseases don't respect national borders. And we've oriented our resources to ensure that critical, life-saving work remains our highest programmatic priority. We're adapting the way we do business amid this outbreak and ensuring we have the right people in the right place to drive this global response. Because at the very heart of our assistance is the desire to save lives, protect people who are most vulnerable to disease, build health institutions, and promote the stability of community and nations. And of course, here in Sri Lanka, we're very eager to support a partner, and I commend the, the minister, the secretary, uh, the former director general, uh, the acting director general and the team at the Ministry of Health and beyond in the government of Sri Lanka for the very excellent work done here to combat COVID-19. Thank you very much.